What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day. I'm so excited. I'm about to go and pick up 30 Jade Perch from a friend of mine who just recently met on one of the social media groups uh, in Brisbane Aquaponics actually. And so uh, looking forward to that. I was going to go ahead and buy some fingerlings. However, the system was built, as you can see behind me here, this system was built about 12 months ago. It was offline for about nine months due to some leaks caused by some of my dogs. Uh, but the leaks are fixed and the cyclone fence is, as you can see behind me here, around the perimeter of the aquaponic system to keep the dogs out. And so the system's been online now, up and running and cycling. And uh, I decided because the system was offline for so long, I wanted to just go ahead and get some bigger fish. So these fish are approximately oh, about 10 centimeters, about 150 grams. And so we're gonna go and pick them up. We're gonna whack them in the aquaponic system and it's all ready for them to go, so can't wait. I'm gonna take you along on that journey with me today. And so I've got myself an Esky. I've also got myself a battery powered Airstone and uh, it's about an hour's drive away. So there should be enough oxygen in that from the Airstone to cause uh, surface agitation to keep the fish nice and, and as healthy as possible on the drive from him back to my place. So let's get stuck into it. All right, well, uh, before we take off, I'm uh, gonna go for a walk down to the local hardware store to get some tape in order to seal the esky lid for the drive back with the fish. So uh, we're gonna go and do that right now. We have the esky we've got the air pump and we've got the tape we are ready to get this show on the road let's get out of here righto well after an hour's drive through some nice country we have finally arrived at our location now for privacy reasons I'm not going to go in here and film uh, but uh, once we've got the fish in the esky then I'll give you a quick look at that point after we've left the property so um, exciting I can't wait to get these fish home safe and into the aquaponic system So I just needed to hurry up and get back here. I am stressing out a little bit, 30 fish in a 60 litre or 65 litre esky uh, with an airstone that is really not pumping out that much oxygen. I uh, just needed to get here as soon as possible. Now, while we were there, uh, he did give us a taste of some silver perch. Uh, we've picked up jades, but he did have a, a taster of some silver perch there that his wife had cooked up for us. And mate, it was, it was beautiful. And, uh, but the fish are in the esky, just arrived back home. I'm gonna open it up now and hopefully they've survived the journey. Let's have a look. Good news, fish is still alive. Alright, so I've just added a bucket of water from my aquaponic system into the esky and I'm going to leave it, uh, the fish in there with that for about 5 to 10 minutes just so they can climatize, help them adjust to the different pH and temperature levels um, within my aquaponic system to the aquaponic system that they came out of just to make the transition a little bit 
smoother and so they don't go through as much stress. But they look uh, quite healthy and uh, I'm confident they're going to adjust just fine. Well, there you go, the fish are in the system and uh, they look to be assimilating quite happily. So I'm chuffed, that is really good news, couldn't have gone better, smooth transition and uh, got myself 30, well actually 29 jade perch and a eel tail catfish. So yeah, couldn't be happier with that. Uh, not fingerlings, as you saw, some of them in there were quite decent size. I'd say potentially uh, up to about 180 grams, some of them about 15 centimetres, so happy days. Uh, we are here in Jimboomba, South East Queensland, uh, about to go into winter in a couple of months time and no doubt the fish will go off the feed there as the temperature in the water drops to below 20 degrees Celsius. Um, but nevertheless, um, better to have them that size and go off the feed than have them as fingerlings and have to really wait until spring before they started to pack on some size again so I'm really happy with that thanks for joining me if you haven't already why don't you like the video that'll help out with the YouTube algorithm as I am a brand new uh, YouTube channel and uh, if you haven't already why don't you consider subscribing to stay updated with how these new jade perch are going in the system also got a lot of other projects on the go about 22 videos planned uh, which I'll be pumping out one every week at least, and maybe two a week. So I want to do some different projects in the backyard, at least one different new project coming up in the backyard every week, as well as an update video. So potentially two videos a week. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.